Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can insert and delete merge fields in your mail merge documents as the need arises. This can occur if the fields in your document that no longer contain relevant data, or if you collect new data that needs to be included in the document. To remove a merge field from your document, select the entire merge field that you want to delete. Then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Inserting new mail merge fields is nearly as easy as deleting them. First, place your cursor at the point in the document where you would like the new merge field to appear. Then click the Insert Merge Field drop-down button in the Write and Insert Fields button group on the Mailing tabs in the ribbon. Then select the name of the field that you would like to insert into your document. If you are performing a simple mailing and are using a data source with address information, you may prefer to use an address block or a greeting line that is created by Word. This just speeds up the placement of multiple merge fields in a document. However, for this feature to work effectively, you should ensure that the field names in your data source are matched to the fields available in Word. If you use a data source provided by Word, then this will be the case. If using an external data source, such as a list in an Excel spreadsheet, then you may need to match the field name in Word to the field names in your list before you can effectively use either the address block or greeting line buttons in the Write and Insert Fields button group. To match the field with your data source with Word, click the Match Fields button. This will open up the Match Fields dialog box. Here you can identify which field in your data source matches each piece of information that Word may need to select by showing the name of the data source field and then selecting the name from the drop-down menu that occurs next to each. If the field is unavailable, simply leave it set as Not Matched. Once you have matched the data source in Word, you can click the OK button to set it. If you have matched your data fields to Word, or if you are simply using the default list provided when you create a data source, then you can click the Address Block button. This will open up the Insert Address Box dialog box. Here you can check which elements you want to include in the address block by checking or clearing the check boxes in the Specify Address Elements section. Once you are finished, you can then click the OK button to insert the address block. Likewise, you can click the Greeting Line button to open up the Insert Greeting Line dialog box. In this dialog box, you can use the drop-down buttons that are available to set the appearance of the greeting field for your document. You can also set what to insert into the greeting line field if the record that you are merging doesn't have a valent recipient name. Once you are done, click the OK button to insert a standard greeting line into your merge document. Once you have inserted mail merge fields into your document, you may want them to appear highlighted so that you can see them more easily. If you wish to turn field highlighting on or off, just click the Highlight Merge Fields button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.